In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, unpack and set up the Bortox Wi-Fi camera kit. It has four cameras and one NVR and one one terabyte hard disk inside. Uh, the model number is BWIF2004PDS100. Let's unpack the box. When you receive the box, it's like that. We're going to open it. Here is two user manual. It can help you. Main device, NVR. It has two antenna. It should be 90 degrees angle when you install it on the back here you'll see several ports this one the first one is for power it has 12 volt DC power these are for the LAN cable and this is WAN is the connection for your internet when you want to access the remote device you need to connect this port with the CAT5E or Ethernet cable to your router or modem. This one is VGA cable, it's usually used for the monitor. This one is HDMI, it can connect the high resolution video to your TV. And these two are USB ports, we use one of them for mouse. And then here is another box. This box has the power supplies for the camera. It should be 12 volts and 1 amps. CD, user manual and some tools inside the CD. Some screws in case you want to add a hard disk or change the hard disk power supply for your NVR and mouse and then here are the four cameras I'm going to open one of them see what is inside CD for the camera user manual this one is usually uh, used to waterproof the wiring uh, in case that you are putting your camera or installing your camera outside with the cable you can use this one but I don't think it's necessarily for the Wi-Fi camera and here are the screws and two for the adjustment camera and this is the antenna for the camera and this one is the camera itself I'm going to show you how to install the antenna to the camera it's very very important to uh, plug the antenna to the camera without this antenna you don't have a good quality okay for the installation I do like that, 90 degrees angle, plug it here, hold it, and tight it. When you want to install the cameras, it should be on the wall and 90 degrees for the antenna. And here is two ports, two wires, one of them is for the CAT5E or Ethernet, we don't use it, we don't need it because it's Wi-Fi, it transfers the data through the Wi-Fi to NVR. And this one is power supply. Power is necessary. Uh, we use 12 volts power supply, minimum 1 amps. So when you are going to install the camera, you don't need this one. Just leave it like that. Plug the uh, power supply to here. And next, I'm going to install the cameras and 
show you how to set it up. Okay, I installed uh, three of the cameras to the power supply. It's a little messy here. Sorry about that, but that's uh, uh, training purposes. Uh, we don't do anything with this cable for now. We don't need it because these cameras are using Wi-Fi, internal Wi-Fi to transfer the data. And uh, like I said before to you, you can find it in user manual too. Uh, antenna for the NVR and for the cameras, it should be 90 degrees angle. For more information, you can read the manual. And I just plug the camera on. After I plug the cameras, I'm going to insert the mouse to a USB port here and then uh, I'm going to connect the network cable to here. One side of your cable should go to WAN and the other side goes to back of your router like that and I'm going to use the HDMI cable one side is connected to your TV and the other side goes to back of your NVR here you can also use the VGA port and connect it to your monitor but I'm using HDMI because it has a more quality and it's simple and final step is plug your NVR when you plug your NVR and cameras, Wi-Fi cameras to the power uh, and turn on the NVR, connect the NVR to the TV, you will see this screen. This is for the first setup. If you unmark this tick here, uh, in next setup you don't see this screen again. So if you want to don't see the first setup screen, just unmark this. But I'm going to leave it like that. And basically all the products for board types they are made by easy installation and do it yourself so it's very very easy to set up them it's very easy to see your home or business in your cell phone and check everything in your cell phone I will explain you how to do that okay first setup I'm going to next step here is the NVR username and password by default it's admin and password is one two three four five and you also can change it later first one is the language English second one it shows you how do you want to record the information I it, it's uh, by factory default is overwrite it means that when the hard disk is full it starts to rewriting the old data it can uh, hold the uh, data up to two weeks because we have four cameras and one terabyte hard disk inside the NVR. So it's, a, it's about uh, one or two weeks. If you want to keep them more, you need to have an uh, external hard disk or change the hard disk inside. For example, you can buy a four terabyte hard disk and install them into the NVR. They can support up to eight terabyte hard disk for this case and here is the NVR name I don't touch anything next here is the IP setup here for the Wi-Fi camera kits we don't touch anything just go to the next and here is the network automatic or manual uh, you can use both of them but manual is better in my opinion next here is the screen that it can't uh, find the cameras if you want to have a remote access, make sure that connect the Cat5e cable or Ethernet cable to your WAN port on the back of the NVR and the other side to the router. To find the cameras, the best way is go to this menu and choose the auto add. When I click the auto add, it says that operation will change the IP address. That's fine. Okay, confirm. 
and it takes one or two minutes, the NVR find the cameras. Here the NVR found all the cameras. We have four cameras installed there. Uh, one thing that it's good to know, here on the screen you see that link is green. It means that the, uh, the quality for the signal is very good. If you see that one of the cameras are red, in any case, you can just remove the camera, delete them here, and auto add again. You, if you can't find your cameras, there must be several issues. First issue is nah, maybe your camera doesn't have a power inside, check the plug. Second one is make sure you connect the antenna to the camera. And the third one is the angle for the, for the NVR should be 90 degrees. You can read more in the user manual. And the distance between the camera and NVR is maximum, um, I can tell you it's maximum 300 feet. If you want to use the cameras far than 300 feet from the NVR, uh, it's better to use the cable. Maybe you don't have a good quality on that case. But most of the homes and business and the other stuff, they, have the, they are not more than 300 feet. Okay. When I have all the cameras here, green, I just go to the next step and here on this step it shows you, uh, you can choose what date and what hour you want to record. For example, I want a 24 hour and 7, uh, 7 24 hour in a day recording so I choose all and here channels all channels and just click OK. So, we have all the cameras, the quality are great and you can double click on the screen and you will see the cameras here but these cameras are inside the home so in the outside you will have a better quality and, uh, because it has a better light. In night mode they have 100 feet distance in night mode and they have a very 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 good quality in the night mode. One thing I, can wa I want to show you here, just click right on your mouse, you will see this menu. And the last one is main menu, is for setting up everything. First one is how to, uh, how you want the NVR shows the cameras. And the other one is to play back. If you want to uh, play back the video, it has been recorded before, you can choose that menu or you can go to your cell phone. Okay, I'm going to menu here, make sure all the cameras are good, confirm, and we don't touch anything in the network. In the third one from top, in the left menu, it, you will see P2P. Click on that, and you will see, if you connect the NVR correctly, to your router, you will see that it says online. It means that the NVR automatically found the router and did everything itself. It means that you don't have to do anything. Just make sure your NVR connected to your modem or router. My router is uh, Comcast, the provider is Comcast. So it doesn't make any difference with the others like AT&T and the other internet providers. And as long as you see the online on your NVR, just open your cell phone. I need the application to scan these three codes. So I go to App Store and search for an application that it can scan the codes. Uh, one of the famous one is QR code. QR code reader free or the other applications. Search that. One of the applications that maybe everybody has in the cell phone, if you don't have it, you can download it. The name of the application is QR Reader for iPhone. This my phone is iPhone, so if you have an Android phone, it's for Android. I'm going to download that application. 
and after the application has been downloaded you need to open the application and scan the code if you are using the iOS or iPhone you should scan this code for the application if you are using Android you need to scan the middle one for the Android and download the application the name of the application is free IP it's a very good application and it has some uh, several functions to uh, uh, to uh, remote viewing and check the uh, videos that you had before or online remote view okay the application has been downloaded I'm going to open that it has a welcome next next done okay and then when you open the application your camera starts I'm going to scan the first one because my phone is iOS just to scan the iOS and it goes to a page to download the application the application name is free IP click on that and download the application on your cell phone application has been download, uh, downloaded the name of the application again is free IP you can also find the link for the download this application in your uh, user manual and I open this application because I, this is the first time I'm using these devices and I just bought it I have to register I'm going to click on the right side in the top of the menu register and fill this form the first one is uh, it says that please enter the mailbox it means that please enter your email address and second one is password and the third one confirm the password and the last one is the security code and you just put the security code and register when you register uh, they will send you an email <clears throat> welcome email and uh, it's in two languages English and Chinese when I register uh, I come back to the login menu I write my email and then password and login just remember your password and the email in case if you use your email or password if you scan the code and the application add this device to your cell phone and your account nobody else even the factory cannot access that information for the safety and security features so please remember your password I click to the login uh, my email yes that's right click to the login when you log in at the first time it shows you add a device how to add a device okay the first code it has a number on that this one is a serial number for your device the application will add your device to your account and it will show everything online to you okay in the first menu I click on the blue button here add a device your camera will open and I scan the first code your device serial number it's very easy here I have the serial number remarks means a name I choose a name for this NVR I put Bortex or any name that you prefer to be and then click on the here in the corner screen A2 and the device will be added to my account and then I click here on the left corner to back of the application when you click on the devices to the application it has three options here first is home second is device and the last one is more more has some settings if you want to change your setting you can do that here device is a list of the devices that you have when I click on the devices I recently I just added it has a device name and a serial number and number of the cameras it has when I want to start live viewing I go to the home 
here it says my devices one to one it means that I have one devices added to this account I click on the my devices it loads the account I'm currently using the uh, T-Mobile LTE network it means that you, if you have the internet in any places in the world you can see your cameras I click on here on the left side playback button for the live viewing and it starts to showing the cameras online as you can see on your TV here you can choose if you double click on any of the cameras you will see the camera live and you can just zoom the camera and go back and here on the, fir on the first on the middle one the first one is for the PTZ cameras you don't have any PTZs right now because this camera is normal we, have, we also have the PTZs for more information about them go to our website www.boardtalks.com and the first the middle one is if you want to take a picture of what you are seeing right now you can take a picture and it goes to your uh, pictures and the uh, last one is if you want to record something it will record in the hard disk everything but if you want to record anything external uh, you can just click here and it starts recording and I just end up recording if I click on the back it comes to this menu again again I click on the play button there and it will load the cameras for cameras I have here it's very very easy to use uh, everybody can do that at home uh, for example if you want to check the videos um, from for example two days ago what should you do there are two ways to do that one way you can go to your NVR connected to the TV click right on the NVR it wants a password for me because it's more than 10 minutes or 5 minutes the password is 1 2 3 4 5 default factory password you can change it I'll show you how to change the password log into your NVR here on the two menu one is playback or the other main menu both of them are the same I go to the main menu and here on the left corner you will see the playback icon it just you just click the pay, playback you can choose the camera that you want to check and the date and here you just press the play button the green one it means that it has been recorded at these hours for example this one is midnight 0 1 a.m. 2 a.m. it goes to 10 a.m. 10 p.m. and you know all days so you just change it you just uh, select your date on the, on the right side of the screen choose the camera you want to check and play that and if you want to go back to the menu click right on the mouse okay this is one way to check the, uh, the NVR when you are in home or you want to check with the NVR the other way is very easy I show you how to do that okay the other way that you can check the uh, your cameras I told you before the play button here is for live viewing if you see there's a small icon on the right side in front of the play button I click on that another screen opens it shows the cameras from the previous time for example last night one week ago or something like that and then I can choose the camera number one I want we have four cameras for example I go to camera number three and here if you see a date it says a 28 you can choose the date that you want and search for the videos if you see that it says that recording is empty it means that you didn't record then you didn't record anything from the last time or last day or your date so for now just because the NVR is new it didn't record anything from the 
yesterday, but I can choose today and search for the camera number one. I have the screen here. It shows the date and time here. The time, for example, now it shows it's 9 a.m. You see the blue blue line here. It means that it has been recorded. I can just pause it or play it. It has been recorded somewhere. You can check it like that in your cell phone. So with the Vortex NVR and camera system, everything is on your cell phone. Everything is on your hand. The other way that you can access to your NVR, the first way is NVR itself by the TV. Second one is your cell phone. And the third one is your PC computer. Okay, to access your NVR from your PC from anywhere, if you have the access to the internet, just search free IP websites on the Google. And the first one, it says that www.freeip.com. I click on the link. I already had an account with the uh, freeip.com for my cell phone so you should use the same username and password username is your email the password that you choose to log into your uh, MVR okay when you go to freeip.com it's a website like that it's in two languages Chinese and English here uh, you can send the same username at you and as you use info at sign portalks.com it's a it's our email address I use that email address to show you here this email address is not valid after uh, after this video to log into the NVRs but you can also send the email to the same email address if you had any other questions and the password one two three four five six it's a temporary password it's not going to be valid after this video and it's a security code here and just log in it says that login successful it's loading the information information is your NVR here is your NVR here is your page Okay, here the device, <clears throat> the name of the device, I put Bortox, you can put your name or any other names. My device is one from one. I click on that box and device, it says that plugin is missing. It needs a plugin, you can download the plugin here. The plugin name is ActiveX. I'm going to download the plugin and install the plugin and redo the login. Sometimes uh, maybe your firewall or antivirus doesn't let you that uh, ActiveX be downloaded or be played. So on that cases, you need to set up your antivirus or firewall for that. The other way it's very simple to do that is uh, I'm using for example Google Chrome I added an extension here that extension name is IE browser it's a, another browser if you go to the setting for your Chrome here on the second menu you will see the extensions click on the extensions and get more extensions and just search the IE browser okay I use the cable connector because my Wi-Fi is too weak here so I connect this one as a temporary to show you and here you can search IE tab or IE browser browser and enter 
and it will search. The one that we need is this one, IE tab. I already have it in my Google Chrome. If you just click on the Add to Chrome, it will show here, restart your Chrome, and then go to your IE tab. If you just click on that, it goes like that. Here in the address bar here, you should type www.freeip.com and just log into your account. Okay, when I installed the ActiveX uh, and I want to log in to the NBR from the website, uh, it's a Windows security alert. I'm going to allow access. And as you can see here, it shows the camera online from anywhere in the world. But the easiest way is to use your cell phone. Here I click on this window and at the camera number two on that window and then I click on the other window at the camera number three on this window and click on the other window and at the camera number four here. Remember that I'm using IE Tab Browser here. It's an extension to uh, Google Chrome it's the easiest way and best way to see the online because sometimes most of the time uh, and the firewall on the windows doesn't let you to run the activate to watch your uh, NBR and video and here if you go to uh, video library you can check your previous videos and options here you can check them and do it yourselves As as, as I told you before, it's very easy to set up the MBR. You can do that do in your home and it's very, very easy. You don't need necessarily to log in to your NBR with the computer. But I showed you to how to log into your NBR with the computer. Another thing that I want to show you is for the setup in the NBR. Click right on the menu. Type the password. The password is one, two, three, four, five. I'm liking. Click right. Go to the main menu. I want to change the date and time for the NDR. So uh, if you go to the main menu, you will see the last item here. It says system. Just click on that and you will see some uh, information here. I'm going to click here on the date and set the date as I want for example I put that on 24 hours and month, year, month, day, year and I can set the time and date here and then click confirm the other thing is good to know uh, in case if you had uh, if you had anything before or if you set up the NDR wrong and you can't set it up as I told you in video the best way is log into your NDR <clears throat> go to the setting and choose here restore default click on that and in the bottom of the page here you will see restore factory setting if you click on that and click uh, confirm and apply, it goes back everything to the factory setting. So in case if you want to redo the setting, you can restore factory setting and watch the video again and set it up. Another thing it's good to know is for the users. It means that here on this option, we can uh, change the password for your <coughs> NVR login not the password for the remote viewing in your cell phone the password for any online when you go to the user you have the user here admin if I click on here modify on the next screen the username is admin you can change it whatever you want to and tick here modify password 
and you should type your old password for example in this case is one two three four five and here new password whatever and confirm the password again and save if you save that uh, the password will be changed for the next login to the MBR thank you very much for watching this video I'm really sorry to have this video in home but the reason I made that video here in home I wanted to show you it's how simple to set up the Bortox NVR Wi-Fi kit or yeah, the other products on the, on the Bortox. If you want more information, you can see our website www.bortox.com or email us at info at sign You can also contact with our customer service toll free number 1-844-267-8699 or 1-844-B-O-R-T-O-X-X -X. Thank you for watching the video.